Hey guys, so I'm going to the Yellow Cake Shop grand opening of their new location and it is Barbie World themed. So I decided to wear, of course, my Yellow Cake Shop wrap tank. And I just need a little help deciding what to wear it with. I have a couple ideas, so help me decide what to wear. Okay, so here's what the top looks like on my first idea. Is to go with these moto faux leather leggings and these wavy leather mules. Let's try. Let's try that on and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the moto leggings. I've actually never paired these two together before, but it's a look. Can do. Like I said, the shoes, and then I could wear my Quay Daisy Brandon Blackwell bag. It does have a crossbody strap, which I also could wear with it. And it has silver hardware and the model leggings, although you can't really see them, but it does have silver hardware as well. So I could do that. I want it to, you know, for shopping, just have it hands free, cute, cute, and then to accessorize that. So that's option number one. Let's do like this. Okay, so this is the second option. I'm just wearing my Amazon Drop Karen Brit Chick Cargos. So again, makes me a little hard with the soft body. This is a lighter color bottom. I did button the bottom of the pants so they're more tapered. And then for shoes, I have this like pink raffia mule that matches like perfectly. Not great walking in these shoes. So I don't know how that will be, but then I have this little bag I got from the Francesca's outlet, little, you know, little dupe mini bag. Again, for the shopping, if you just bring in a card, not a lot, but to wear that, so that's an option. And then I have one other kind of casual dressy option as well. But I kind of, I kind of like this because I think I like the lighter colors. Um, so yeah, this is option number two. What do we think? And then of course the accessories will be about pink and all that. Okay, so this is the last, well, there's one other bonus that I might try on just to see. Um, I have these high-waisted distressed dad jeans. They go into a wide leg at the bottom. So I was thinking I can either do like go casual and wear <laughs> my rather dirty um, Lily Pulitzer shoes slip ones or again I could wear the pink graphic mules because they like go so perfectly so I don't know I kind of feel like although I like the comfort of these ones I think I like the height that this gives and it balances out because this has a little more volume on the bottom and so does the pants but my waist is really snatched in so I'm making more of an hourglass and I feel like with the heel it'll help balance out so yeah then we could do this little mini bag or I can even go fun with my hand no I don't like it <laughs> never mind I feel like it's between these two bags if I do the black daisy bag or this little bag or I can do my white Brandon Blackwood bag my trunk bag but yeah trying to go with like Barbie theme, so things that are more cutesy, like the daisies, or this one that you know has the pink, because I really don't have that many pink bags. Or I could do my little clutch, but then I would have to hold that around. My little denim clutch, then I'd have to hold that around, hold hold that like in my arm, which I don't think I want to do. So I don't know. Do we like option three? With the with the mules. Oh, I know you can't really see the shoes. Does it look on my three? 
And then for accessories, I have a bunch of pink earrings. So I have these pink tassels that are gold. I have these pink, bright pink beaded ones. If I go with the more silver with the model, I can wear my silver ones. Or I can wear these ones, which match pretty well with that. Or just a wild card colorful one, I can do these. All of the jewelry is Lemon Cove jewelry, my own brand that I make. So, figuring out which one I would wear. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have other pink earrings that you guys would have seen. Like two other pairs that I could wear, possibly. And I have like a pink bracelet. But yeah, I feel like this might be the winner, but I'm not sure. Chelsea. Okay, here's the outfit. I'm running to go get pink eyeliner <laughs> from uh, CVS, and then I'm going to put that pink eyeliner on and my mascara. But I got some layered necklaces, earrings, got a little maximalist look going. The top, the jeans, the mules. Got my Brandon Blackwood bag, just tied a pink scarf on it. And then I have my white shades, of course. Not water shades. And yeah, gotta go. <laughs> Sign. Wanna make you part of mine I've been waiting for a sign 
I don't want you going nowhere I've been waiting for a sign Wanna make you part of mine I've been waiting for a sign Don't you feel the same You want it for us Even though you don't wanna say it You've been saying it softly With no words You whisper with your eyes I'm waiting for you Just waiting for you To give it enough Give it enough uh, We don't have to be lonely, we don't have to be hurting Cause I'm feeling like you and I are perfect I don't wanna be sorry, I don't wanna think every night About how we've been so blind So upset, I'm waiting till it's too late No rest for lovers who are undetermined I just wanna be certain, I don't wanna waste all our time Wondering if we're right I've been waiting for a sign Wanna make you part of mine I've been waiting for a sign I don't want you going no way I've been waiting for a sign Wanna make you part of mine I've This is Jen, she's got refillable goods Just bought an amazing candle Love it Just came from the Barbie World grand opening of Yellow Cake Shop. Um, shopped some of the vendors as well that they had outside. Um, I did get something. I will show you guys that later. And I'm going to go head my way home. Um, so she's been good. I got a little treat um, from one of the other vendors that I'm going to try. And I'm probably going to grab something to eat too. Although I did have a lot of sushi. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to head over to Pinecrest on my way back. I swear, the west side is so cute. Like, it's just, it's just so cute. I'm in Gordon Square right now. Like, I'm in Gordon Square. I need... Totally vibing It's true what they say It's all about timing I'm doing okay For the first time in a while Can't help but love my style Just caught in the feeling oh, So much glitter You can't forget her A superstar Like ooh We just get better
to sew you in and I got something on sale. Where did I actually? Oh, let's see. Where did I actually park? That way. Now the question is, do I want to grab something to eat out here? Or do I want to go back over to my side of town and get something to eat? Probably just head home because it's going to get dark soon. There's like so much full sun. Um, now I'm dark. <laughs> Just got out of Slow Union. I did get something that was on sale. Not like anything crazy fancy, but I did get it was on sale. Some gold wick trimmers because I just got a candle from one of the vendors at Refill Goodness. So I was like, oh, perfect. And this was on sale. So it was like $6. I really wanted to get something to eat. Like, I'm not super hungry, but I know I'm going to be hungry. Like, I didn't really eat lunch. And so I had just like a little plate, a little plate of sushi. And oh, yeah, I got that chocolate thing. Um, Gordon Square is really cool. It's, I feel like, I feel like I'm saying it's not that far. It is. Because I've gotten the freeway ish. But it's not super far. Not like going out to Westlake or something. But it wasn't super far. And I got to talk to Jill from Soul Union. And it was so funny because I met one of the other owners, Olivia from Old Vintage. And I love the pieces that I've got from her. Some jewelry, vintage jewelry pieces. And uh, the beginning of the year and I've been meaning to come out here and I messaged her the other day on Instagram I commented like oh I gotta make it out there one of these days and uh, I, I did she wasn't there but it was funny because every time I would pick something up off the rack and was like oh this is so cute it was one of her pieces so obviously I love her style and things that she curates but it's such a cute little shop we need a vintage shop on the east side. Why do we not have vintage shops on the east side? We have a lot of resale stores, but I don't feel like we have dedicated vintage shops, like how they have over here, like Slow Union and Cool World, which is like right across the street. And I wish that I could just walk around and go to all the little vintage shops and stuff, but them buildings is hot and I'm in the AC right now and I'm a little warm. So I need something to drink or something, but Yes, I don't know if this is like really bad because like you can see like half of my face is bright. But yeah, this was fun. I needed to get out of the house. Both of my kids are like kind of sick. Sorry, I left my husband at home with the kids, but he told me to have fun and I did, you know? And I saw Rochelle from Rochelle the Land. Or is it Raquel? I think it's Rochelle. She's a photographer, so I bumped into her, which is cool. It's been like a year since I seen her in person, you know, just met at a networking event and then we've just been you know you know on instagram the ig friends but it was cool Val i got to talk to valerie and that was also fun and meet some of the team in the new space looks great um so this was fun i'm excited if i have enough time i will stop by pinecrest and see if i can get my font bags if not i will go tomorrow but yes those are the bags they're close. Whenever they're hours. Oh, 6 p.m. 